Welcome to RFI's introductory tutorial on our ASM site monitoring device. Mission critical radio communication networks demand the highest level of reliability and performance out of the base station radio equipment and its supporting infrastructure. Radio networks typically consist of multiple channels combined to operate through single transmit and receive antenna systems. This is primarily due to tower real estate being a premium concern and mitigation of interference issues through proper controlled multi-coupling network design. Failures in a network typically occur in the antenna system, base station transceivers or in the multi-coupling network. The failure of an antenna system will have dire consequences since not one but all channels on that antenna in the network will be affected. Until now, the health of an antenna system has traditionally been assessed through the return loss or VSWR as measured at the end of the antenna feeder cable where it connects to the multi-coupling equipment. Fixed measurement devices that have been conventionally used are broadband and so are susceptible to the influence of other transmitters either on the same combiner or co-located at the site. Also, these measurement devices will not detect a failure of the base station transceiver or of the associated multi-coupling equipment. So, in order to assess the overall health of a radio communications facility, we need a device which can monitor individual transmitter power levels out of the transmitter combiner, can give an accurate representation of the return loss or VSWR of the transmit antenna system, can measure the isolation between transmit and receive antennas to ensure that the multi-coupling design is not compromised, and can monitor the operation of the receiver network, including transmitter carrier suppression levels and rogue signal activity. The Antenna System Monitor, or ASM, is such a device. The key distinguishing feature of the ASM is that it measures power levels in individual channel segments. That is, it is a channelized device. So let's examine how the ASM monitors the transmitter side of the radio communications facility first. The ASM is used in conjunction with a high directivity dual directional coupler placed in between the transmitter combiner output and the antenna feeder cable. The coupler provides the source of the forward and reflected signals which allow the ASM to measure the forward power in each of the program channels on the combiner, measure the reflected power in each of the program channels on the combiner, and hence compute the return loss or VSWR for each of the program channels on the combiner. Having performed these measurements, the ASM is then able to raise a VSWR alarm based on the program VSWR alarm trip point with an indication of which channel or channels have alarmed. It can raise a high or low power alarm based on the program power trip points with an indication of which channel has alarmed. This last alarm would indicate the existence of a problem with the health of the transmitter and or combiner, for example, you could have a faulty PA, a detuned cavity filter, or a faulty ferrite isolator. The transmit measurement capabilities of the ASM extend to large, diverse communication networks, since it is equipped to measure up to 80 individually programmed channels. It is able to measure any combination of 25 kilohertz and 12.5 kilohertz space channels within its operational bandwidth. Any combination of legacy analog and digital modulation schemes are also supported regardless of the crest factor of the latter. And it is equipped with four separate transmit monitoring ports, enabling the monitoring of not just one, but four separate transmit antenna networks at a site. So let's now examine how the ASM can monitor the receive side of the communications network. The ASM is equipped with a high sensitivity receive port 
which can be programmed with up to 80 frequencies within the operational bandwidth of the device. This port is connected to a spare receive multicoupler port on the network fed via the receive antenna. The ASM can further be programmed to inject a test signal at a calibrated level into each of the transmit antenna networks at any programmable frequency within the bandwidth of the device. The same test signal is then monitored through the ASM's receive port, allowing the ASM to calculate the transmit to receive antenna isolation by setting the test fre signal frequency to one or more of the receive frequencies of the site. And in this case, the ASM will raise an alarm if the antenna isolation falls below a programmable trip point. And to also measure the receive filter effectiveness by setting the test signal frequency to one or more of the transmit frequencies at the site, which will give us a measure of the carrier suppression. Given the 80 channel capacity of the ASM, it can be programmed to monitor multiple receive channels, which then facilitates the monitoring and recording of the level of known fixed incoming receive signals at the site, such as those that may originate from a control station, the monitoring and recording of signal levels of identified road signals, which could overload the receive amplifiers and cause unwanted intermodulation problems. The ASM will raise an alarm if the received signal levels fall above or below programmable trip points with an indication of which channel or channels have alarmed. These measurements allow real-time monitoring of the receive antenna system and multi-coupler performance and ensures that this performance is not going to be compromised by high-level interfering signals or equipment failure. So in summary, the versatility provided by the unique channelized functionality of the ASM, along with the provision of TCP IP Ethernet ports, allowing local and remote interrogation via a comprehensive web-based GUI, makes this device an invaluable, permanent, network unobtrusive diagnostic tool for your mission critical radio communications network. For further information, please do not hesitate to contact your local RFI representative. Thank you.